Man, I'm hungry. Oh, oh wait, it's review time. Let's go, JTB review. Hey guys, what's going on here? Um, you guys were asking for the Deftones, so here we are. It is May 20th, 2003. We are talking about the Deftones. Still titled record. Um, we have a lot to talk about here. Um, now, this record, I, I will have to admit, it is very, very hard um, talking about this record. So let me go ahead and start with the lineup once again. It is the same lineup as last. We have Chino, lead vocals, uh, Stephen Carpenter, lead guitar, Chino, or um, not Chino, but uh, Chi Chang on bass, Frank Delegato on keyboards, Abe Cunningham once again on the drums. Now, about this record, it comes in at about 50 minutes in length. Here we go with Terry Date once again. Um, so we have a lot to talk about here. Um, the musicianship on this record has definitely improved. Um, better writing, um, you know, a little bit better songwriting. Um, you know, it, it, it's just, um, you know, there's some unique songs on here, kind of like um, Lucky You. Um, it, it's, it's definitely, um, you know, it's definitely, uh, unique, uh, um, away from the rest of the record. You should just take the song and put it somewhere else. It kind of doesn't really fit, but it doesn't fit in a good way, though, because it is a great song. Um, once again, here we go, very emotional on this record. Uh, Devtones are very emotional, um, vocally, uh, from, uh, coming from Chino. You can just tell. The emotions on this record are just, you could just feel them. Um, you know, it just puts you in, um, you know, just in their state of mind. Um, once again, uh, the songs on here, like, um, Min Minivra, I'm not really how you say that, Minivra, I'm not really sure. But that's how I'm going to pronounce it, uh, pronounce it, uh, Maya, Maya, Moana, Moana, um, if I'm, not sure on how to say that. It's track 11. Um, you know, those two songs right there is um, a great example of how to switch it up between heavy and showing their um, softer side. Those songs are really good at, at, at mixing them up um, because the Deftones are, are very well known for that, especially on their first record. Um, they had a, they've had always had a really good mix between going from really heavy to super soft. And uh, not soft, like, in a bad way, but super soft as in, like, you know, they just have, like, an alternative sound. And um, it mixes very well with them. Works out almost every single time. Anytime they try to take a risk, it works. And that's one band that I will account them for. Every time they take a risk on a song and you think it's going to fall apart, right before it falls apart, it just kicks in so well and it knocks this fucking record out the park. Um... When Girls Telephone Boys and Hexagram, Mayona are, uh, those are my top three favorites on here for sure. Um, I love, love the, those songs. Um, but I, I kind of have to be honest with you guys. Um, I, I, you know, I gotta be honest with you. Um, look, the, the rest of the songs here are, are, are you know, if I, you know, don't kill me here. I'm not gonna say they're filler. I'm not going to say that, but I'm going to say that they're not as good as my top three that I mentioned before. Um, you know, I, I just think the, the beginning ending songs, um, Hexagram, Moana, Man Manevra, Lucky You, and When Girls Telephone Boys, those are like the, the best songs on here, definitely the highest points. But songs like Needles and Pins, Good Morning Beautiful, um... I'm not going to say they're the, the best songs, but I'm not going to say they're the worst. I'm going to say they're average songs coming at like a 7 out of 10. They're just not there, you know, with that, that high intensity, you know, um, you know, Deftones that we all want. Um, but not, not to say that they're bad songs. I'm just saying, um, you know, we were, we were swinging hard, guys. We were swinging hard from, um, you know, their previous rec record. We were going really, really... Um, <laughs> we were we were swinging hard from their previous record and we were on um you know we were going hard and then obviously they come out with this one and it, and it's it's not as good you know i will go on record saying that uh it is not as good as white pony um we're, we're just gonna have to go with that and um but 
to be honest with you guys, if you guys really want me to seriously rate this, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Um, I, I believe it deserves an 8. Um, it doesn't deserve an 8.5. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is because um, you take away, you know, the four songs that I mentioned, you take everything out of here, it would be a 10. But it wouldn't be a record. You put the rest of the songs in there, and it lowers it to about an 8. The reason why it's an 8 is because those four songs hold the water. It holds everything else. Holds the songs up to the standard that they are. And um, I believe that's why we're getting this at uh, an 8 out of 10. Um, other than that, guys, it's not a very bad record at all. Um, it's actually a really good listen, and I would definitely suggest it to anybody. Um, those four songs are... are are bomb they're just great they're unique they're different and um it's definitely the diff tones that i love um so we're gonna leave it at that guys and we are going to move on to saturday night wrists and we are going to we're gonna go listen to that right now actually so i will see you guys on the next review thank you for watching you guys are the bomb and i will see you guys on the next review peace out and see you later